Hey guys, let's talk about my favorite legacy deck. I like this deck for many reasons. It's fun. It's a combo type of deck. It does have a turn one win condition. And it is less than $20 the way I built it. The current build of this deck list, it's $37.28. But I built it for $20.28 by taking out the four dismembers as well as the four go for the throat. So I have other removal that's less expensive. Those play sets combined is $17, which is almost half the deck. So you have Gatekeeper of Malachi, My Retriever, which is part of your combo, which we will go over soon. Four Rite of Precinct 6, four Dark Rituals, four Go for the Throat, four Demir Machinations, four Dismember, four Altar of the Brood, another part of the combo, four Grinding Station, for Heartless Summoning, and the deck plays very fast. You're either going to win extremely fast or you're just going to lose, but you will know that you have already lost. In turn win, you do need the right cards in your hand, but it has happened once for me, which has been fantastic. Uh, you play Swamp or anything that taps for Black Manor, then you cast Dark Ritual. With Dark Ritual, you get free Black Manor, and you can cast Alter the Brood and Heartless Summoning. Your mill count is now 1. You can cast My Retriever, mill count being 2, for free because of Heartless Summoning. Heartless Summoning reducing its mana cost by 2, but it dies because of the negative, neg negative 1, negative 1 from also Heartless Summoning. Then you cast another Mirror Retrieval, Retriever. Mill count is free, it dies. When the second one dies, you get to return the other one to your hand because of its ability to return artifact in your graveyard to your hand when it dies. Cast the one you just returned, your mill count is 4, then it dies, returning the other to your hand. You can do this infinite amount of times. Definitely a very fun deck and not one that most opponents will expect. Your, your win con is milling your opponent out. Not something that you see very often. And the mirror retrievers are just so fun to interact with. Uh, it's just a blast. It is a blast to play this deck. And it's something that I encourage you to do. And something that's inc incredibly affordable. You probably already have these cards. Now you do have longer win cons with Blasting Station. As your win cons are going to be some type of retriever retrieving a Fallen Retriever. And that's always a ton of fun. One of my favorite cards, when they printed it, I wanted to make a deck. I didn't know what type of deck to make. And this is the perfect deck because it's $20. It's $20 and it allows you to play Legacy in incredibly format. Now, it is a, a, a glass cannon deck, which means any type of counter spell, any type of removal, any type of artifact destruction, any type of enchantment destruction can make it difficult for you to win. Absolutely. Absolutely. But how many times can you make a deck in Legacy for $20 and kill your opponent with, let's say, a $2,000 deck, a pimped out $2,000 deck? That just makes me smile, right? A $20 deck beating a $2,000 deck, maybe a $4,000 deck, depending on if they have four Russian Jaces. It's possible, and not only is it possible, but the decks, at least when I'm piloting the deck, I have a 50% win con, because no, one, no one's prepared for this type of win condition. They're prepared for different type of combo decks, or they're prepared for a long, grindy card advantage game which Legacy a lot of times is. Love the deck. Are they prepared for graveyard hate? Actually, now that I think about it, a lot of the hate is graveyard hate, which will prevent this deck from doing well. And probably the graveyard hate is targeted to dread. Anyway, do you guys have a favorite deck? Do you guys like this deck or you build it? It's only $20 and it can be a $2,000 deck. Anyway, bye guys.